so today we're going to start off this look by going into the Jackie Ina palette and we're taking that deeper brown shade which I think is called credit can't remember off the top of my head but you see the color it's a nice pretty brown that has some like really deep purple hint to it I really really like it like it's the perfect shade but I'm going to go ahead and take that from the outer corner of my eye all the way to the inner corner of my eye and kind of just blending it out so it's nice and seamless and kind of creates a gradient effect from the out outer corner to the inner corner. Next, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is the matte version. I use this concealer for literally everything if you watch my videos. So I'm going to use that to go ahead and cut the crease. And what I like about the applicator is the way that it's shaped. It's doe foot, so I don't really need to take a brush unless I really want to be precise. But afterwards, I take a brush to blend it out. But you don't need a brush to apply the concealer to create your half cut crease. So I really, really like that about this concealer and the Sonia Kashuk brush is really good for blending out because as you can see it's flat but it's also a fluffy brush as well so it really helps with blending out in the direction that you want the shadow or the concealer to go I'm now going to take the Morphe palette and I'm going to be using the cream color so that I can just set the concealer of course, I'm going to leave down below. I believe this is the 35S, the Sweet Oasis palette. I'm going to leave down below the products that I use in the specific shades. Next, I'm going to be going into the best liquid liner, which is the e.l.f. liquid liner. I use it in the shade Jet Black. Super good, super nice. It stays on all day, and it doesn't give me any issues. I really like it. Um, the brush hasn't pooped out on me yet, so it's really, really good. And I'm just creating my winged liner, as you can see. Next, I'm going to be going into the Maybelline The Rock Nudes palette, and I'm taking that deeper tone charcoal shade, and I'm going to be placing that on top of the liner that we just did because I want to smoke out the liner to create like a nice gray, smoky black liner. This palette is really good. I'm not too sure if it's on the market anymore, so an alternative for that would be the morphe palette they have a new nine pan shadow palette that has like nice smoky tones so i'll link that down below i'm now taking the black shade from that same maybelline the rock nudes palette and i'm dragging that across my waterline my lower lash line i'm kind of really smoking out this look because it's a nice smoky liner look that i was going for I'm now going to take my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and apply that to my lashes. Absolutely love this mascara and I really, really love the wand on it. It really helps create a nice false lash effect on your natural lashes. I really love it. We're now going to move on to lips. As you see, sis was a little surprised, but I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place lip liner in cola absolutely love this lip liner but i feel like they run out really really fast but i'm gonna go ahead and take this and line my lips i think it's the perfect brown i don't know what i was so surprised about like this is kind of funny but i know it sounds crazy and i say this every video but i'm gonna take my same elf concealer in medium neutral and i like to apply that to the middle of my lips i feel like it really creates a nice ombre lip for me i start off with the brown liner and then i take my concealer which is normally a neutral tone a nude and then i take a lipstick so this one i'm taking the kkw nude lipstick or one of the pink lipsticks and i kind of apply it and it creates the perfect lip 
So now I'm just setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, which is really good for masks as well. And then I'm going to take just my Buxom Lip Plumping Gloss and I'm applying that right onto the center of my lips. And that creates the perfect nude for me and that also completes this look. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.